Me too, except it always makes me sleepy. It's supposed to, Bingo. It's a lullaby doll Papa gave my mother when I was born. Isn't that sweet? Cinderella, what was your mother like? Do you remember? She must have been wonderful, just like a daughter. And beautiful. Yes, Mama was all those things. And she made us so happy. My mother was beautiful, and she was very graceful. Her hands were warm and soft, and she always had a friendly smile. Mm. <sighs> Unfortunately, she was taken away from us when I was very young, so I don't have that many memories of her. Too bad. It must have been hard growing up all alone like that. Go. No. Whenever memories come back, I'll share them with you. It's stuck again. Oh. It must be the heat. It's made the wood swell. Well, what do you expect? This house is getting old and pink. Oh. What's that noise? Cinderella! The tree! Excellent, Pierre. Now cut that branch down next. But this tree is so old. So what? Cut it. Is the tree sick? No, it's just another one of her whims. Hmm. And get rid of the one on the other side, too. Do you hear me, Pierre? Yes, ma'am. It just takes a while to get through these. Why are you cutting the tree, Mother? Because it's a nuisance. It's blocking my view and keeping out sunlight. Pierre, hurry it up. Perfect. You've done excellent work, Pierre. Glad you like it, ma'am. Cinderella, I want you to get rid of all those clippings. Yes, ma'am, right away. She's in a nasty mood. What a shame to cut down this beauty. It was such a masterpiece of nature. Miss Frances always said it was her favorite. You mean Mama? That's right. She would come out here with you every day. Except when it rained. She would spend hours playing with you. <laughs> I remember. Mama had a contagious laugh. Yes, she did. You looked so much like your mother when she was still a young woman. I can't believe I had to butcher her favorite tree. She must not have known this tree was so full of memories. But it's too late now. All we can do is clean up. Right. Mother, I saw a beautiful white horse I want. We could share it, please. We could ride him into town all by ourselves. I'm tired of listening to you two today. Uh, uh, but, but Mother... mother. Uh, oh. oh, my goodness! Mother! Cinderella! Cinderella, come quick! We need help! This is 
is all your fault. She tripped over those branches you left there. I'm so sorry. It's no one's fault, girl. She fell because she was overcome by dizziness. The branches had nothing to do with it. The situation's very serious. I'll work through the night. Will you be able to save her? Mother, please open your eyes. Don't leave us. We need you. <laughs> There's no improvement. Please, Dr. Noah, you have to save her for us. Believe me, Cinderella, that's what I'm trying to do, but for that I would need to administer a medicinal herb. Which one? It's a very rare herb, but it has the power to heal almost any infection. A miracle cure. Its healing properties have been known for years. Unfortunately, it only grows in one place. Beyond the boundaries of Emerald Kingdom, in a forest to the north, where legend has it wicked spirits watch over it. Many people have tried to enter the haunted forest to pick the herb, but only a handful have come back safely. It's a great risk for whoever attempts it. I'm willing to take that risk, sir. No, it's much too dangerous. Cinderella, please go inside. I'll go get the herd. No, Pierre, you have to stay. Catherine and Jean need you here. But... Don't worry, I'm sure the wicked spirits are only a legend. It's going to be cool out. Stay covered up. I will. Now stop worrying. Do you think those wicked spirits really exist? Why is she putting herself in danger, especially for the crabby old stepmother? We can't let her do this. You know as well as I do that when she decides to do something, that's it. There is no changing that girl's mind. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Careful, dear. I will. Now, please, take care of Mother while I'm gone. Cinderella. Miss Paulette. I think you're making a mistake, dear. You've never seen the haunted forest. You don't know the dangers that lurk there. But I have to try and get those herbs for Mother. But Cinderella, aren't you frightened? The only thing I'm afraid of is not saving her. Well, since your mind is made up, I'll have to come with you. Oh, you'll do that for me? Of course, but I think we need a bodyguard. Huh? Oh, Patch, you decided to come with us. Actually, someone decided for me. Well, I sure am glad to have my friends here. Giddy up! was during a painting lesson in the woods not too far from your house. Mama painted? Oh, yes, but we spent much more time chatting than painting. We always had fun together. Mm. When she did decide to paint something, she created beautiful pieces full of cheer. Her eyes sparkled just like a little girl who's living out her dreams. something. Are you thirsty, Paulette? Yes, but... <laughs> Frances always managed to bring cheer to all those around her.
Your mother was full of life. she knew that she was gravely ill and she wanted to make sure he would never be alone and it's because of the promise i made to your mother that i'm always meddling in your affairs Cinderella. i'm glad you do thank you paulette There. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes. Once we've entered the forest, we can't let anything stop us, all right? No matter what happens, we have to move forward. We always have to move forward if we want those herbs. Right. Just move ahead on foot. Huh? Forest spirits, can you hear me? Go away. You don't belong here. Leave us. <gasps> what should we do? This is nothing but an illusion, dear. Just keep going forward. Cinderella, I don't like this place. I want to go home. Not until I get those herbs. Cinderella, you could fall. 
I'm going. Cinderella, don't worry, she'll be fine. There's a presence watching over her. nothing I could do. But now, it's different. If I ever give in to discouragement, especially at a time like this, I would never be able to forgive myself. I dreamed of a forest full of spirits. Oh. oh! What are you blobbering about? The Duchess is out of danger now, thanks to you. Mm. Thanks to her, I got to see Mother again. Cinderella, how come our breakfast isn't ready yet? That's not the Duchess's voice. Oh, rats. Stop making fun of her, you two. She is my stepmother, and we should show her some respect. Oh. Cinderella! Cinderella! Coming! <laughs> <laughs> Since the dawn of time, they've said plants have spirits. They protect man, and that's why we must always show them respect. Don't throw the dirt too hard, Cinderella. You have to put it around the sapling gently. He's just a baby. She must still have fever. I'll say. She's actually working. Hmm. There. That's good. Don't you think? I'm very sorry I had your branches cut down. I didn't mean to hurt you. To show you I'm sincere, I planted this tree for you. Uh, uh, are you all right? Me? I've never been better. <laughs> 